My name is Bob Parker. Our company is Parker Productions and we make muzzle bullets. Today I would like to look at a uh, aspect of our company that is not often seen. Uh, that is the casting and, uh, and the making of our bore size bullets. I'd like to give you just a brief review of the, of the bench and the table and the tools and then we'll get straight into the bullet casting. Uh, first thing about the, uh, about the table and about the area, it does not need to be uh, extremely large. As you can see, this uh, particular uh, casting place that I use all the time is very much compact. Uh, the, uh, uh, the things I need are an easy reach. Uh, have a little fire extinguisher just in case. There's some lube. Uh, it, this, is, this is paraffin and, uh, uh, and molly mix. Uh, got, got the uh, uh, fluxing uh, material again. This is paraffin and uh, uh, petroleum jelly. The molds are simply uh, easily to get to on uh, both sections and the little tools that we may need are right in hand. Uh, there is a, a, a pot for slag that uh, is needed, a rawhide hammer, a place to put the uh, pin from your hollow point bullets, a, uh, a pan to uh, get uh, the uh, spears in, and a place, of course, to put your bullets. Here is the, uh, uh, the controller for the hot pot. It runs at 850 degrees or thereabouts. And it is accompanied with a vent system. You'll be able to hear it. That, uh, that gives a, a, a good fresh air for, uh, uh, for the casting time and keeps the lead and the fumes away from the caster. The pot itself uh, is a, an electronic pot, and uh, you'll notice that uh, I have the mold setting on top of the pot heating, and we're, we're ready to uh, come to the place of looking at the casting. When you prepare for the casting, uh, the first thing that you, uh, that you need to do is put on your gloves. Uh, the fire will be hot, and the lead and everything else around is hot, and this uh, molds uh, need to be moved out of the way you need to get a uh, get your dipper put it in the pot so it's got a chance to warm up a bit and uh, and uh, give it just uh, just a bit it doesn't take long you'll want your uh, your fire handy and uh, the the uh, uh, the fluxing compound needs to be a not too large of squares otherwise uh, it'll flame up too much Turn the fire on, drop it in, and uh, the fluxing begins. You uh, work with that, stir it, let it kind of die down, throw in, another, throw in another piece of the fluxing material, and keep on working with it. Get air into the pot, make sure that, uh, that you mix it as thorough as possible, and as uh, when it, when it uh, when it dries out, when the fire goes out, uh, just uh, uh, just simply uh, get yourself ready for the casting. Mm -hmm. After we've uh, fluxed our pot, the next thing we have to do is uh, is heat our mold so the bullets come out with uniformity. Uh, the uh, this may take uh, several different uh, times or. It may be pretty fast. This particular mold has been used a lot of times and I have to tap it. Uh, while we're heating up the mold, I'll show you the process. This is a hollow point uh, bullet. I take the pin out, lay it in his cradle, and, uh, and then uh, in order to get the bullet out, uh, you need to uh, be very cautious never to, never to hit the mold. Always hit the handles back here. As that, uh, as that opens up, the bullet will come out very easily. Now that bullet's discarded. It's not something we want to keep. Put your pin back in, turn the top, or the spear cutter. Be sure there's nothing in the way up here. And then uh, slowly, not rapidly, slowly fill the mold and cover the entirety of, uh, of the spear cutter. When you, when you go to cut the, uh, cut the spear, hit it here. Cut it like that, knock it off, and you want to be sure, see this is not there yet, 
you want to be sure that that bullet has filled out completely in the bottom. Take your, uh, take your uh, pin out, put it in this cradle, give it a tap, take that bullet out, put it back in, come back to the mold. Same process. Uh, slowly with the, slowly as you go with it, and uh, give it just a second to, to begin to cool, tap it out, hit, hit the handles, never the mold, and just keep right on going with the process. Now, there's one thing that needs to be understood without any degree of hesitation. This is not a clean process. Uh, the, uh, the lead will find its way of getting on you somewhere or the other, so you need to have a, a, a thick sleeve and a good glove and uh, just be prepared for that. Now, you might look at the bottom of the mold you see they just begin to fill and uh, to fill very well. Uh, take the uh, take the pin out. I go to this side, of course you can't see it, and I look in and I can see that there's no cavity at the bottom of the of the hollow point. And so looks like that we got a bullet that goes back uh, to be used. Again, you come back, uh, same process over and over again. Give yourself time. Let the let the lead begin to let the lead begin to set up. Don't give it too much time; it'll get hard. Tap it out when it's soft. Never hit the mold. Always hit the handle. Take the pin out. Hit this handle. If you watch it, if you watch carefully, uh, as I hit the mold, you'll see it open around the edges. When it does that, that bullet will come out without much hesitation. <clears throat> All right. One more time, hollow cavity mold, pin in, close it up to your pot slowly. Just take drips at a time, fill the entirety of, of the spear cutter, and uh, when it sets up, tap it out, hit the handles, remove, remove your pin in the cradle, check the back that is full is filled out check the check the cavity that is full and if it's good we've got another one so that's the simplicity of it and uh, i hope that uh, that is that it is useful some things that uh, i did not say before you notice that we've got a metal bench that is really important because even in this process i've got lead all over it and uh, this uh, this is most important Never, never, never hit that mold. Always, uh, when you are, always when you are doing your casting, slow on your, on your putting lead into it. Fill the top of the spewer as much as possible so it'll distribute the heat. When it sets up, tap it out. Uh, remove the pin into the cradle. Tap the handle, loosen the bullet, drop it in, drop it into its proper place, and uh, that is just about the simplicity of it all. Well, listen, I hope this has been useful. Uh, you have a great day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this down, and simply say thank you for watching.